Remember when you were a kid and went to the doctor? Maybe you had your tonsils removed or the chicken pox? What do you think happened to all that medical data about you? Does your current doctor have access to it? Most of our medical history depends on what we remember to write down on that form when we first show up, which isn't very reliable, and I'm not sure anyone even looks at those. This is where analytics can revolutionize healthcare, and there are a lot of cool companies working on this, but there are some big challenges for data professionals to tackle. There are a number of goals that the healthcare industry hopes analytics can help with, potentially helping to prevent epidemics, cure elusive diseases, reduce costs, and improve quality of life. By collecting large amounts of data from the population, predictive analytics can help detect and prevent serious illness before it happens, getting treatments before patients may even be showing signs. There is a huge silo problem with patient data. An individual's health data is collected haphazardly and spread across archives in hospitals, clinics, and pharmacies with no way to communicate data between them. So this is the goal of healthcare analytics, to build complete patient profiles with all medical care throughout their lives, along with comprehensive data across entire populations, and from there create personalized treatment plans. Analytics can provide a ton of benefits to healthcare. Some examples are electronic health records, EHRs are an essential piece already becoming common. It is a secure record that will follow a patient through their life, capturing all medical data associated with them and made available to doctors and staff when needed. Improved patient predictions are a time series analysis on admission rates that can help with staffing, ensuring enough space and staff is available when needed and avoiding burnout when it's not. Clinical decision support is software that analyzes medical data and provides providers with advice as they make decisions. Enhanced engagement is achieved with smart devices that track activity, sleeping, heart rates, and so on. When used, they allow people to be actively involved in monitoring their own health and reduce unnecessary visits to the doctor. Their strategic planning, tracking trends in populations compared with available medical services, and this can help cities detect problematic areas to increase access to care. Telemedicine, as we've seen in the last year, has become commonplace. This alone decreases costs saves time, and keeps patients out of expensive hospitals and clinics. Predictive analytics can be achieved with robust databases of EHRs. Complex trends that are difficult for humans to detect can be brought to the attention of providers, alerting them to testing and monitoring they may have missed. Reducing fraud with fraud detection, just like finance, can help avoid abuses and claims and decrease costs which always get passed to the patients and the community. With medical imaging, as AI gets better at image analysis, this can be used in medical imaging to speed up processing and help detect easy to miss results. And self-harm prevention. Mental health researchers have shown that EHRs combined with questionnaires could detect high risk for self-harm with a lot of accuracy and then preemptively provide mental health care to save lives. So how are companies and medical organizations planning to accomplish this? There are a lot of cool companies tackling the healthcare puzzle. It's one of the most active startup spaces, and here's a few examples of projects. Tempus, which is building the largest library of molecular and clinical data with the goal of providing oncologists with context for each of their cases. Their platform collects and organizes data from lab reports, clinician notes, radiology, and pathology, helping with research and helping physicians make personalized treatment plans. Pisces technology is cloud software that collects data through the patient journey, providing treatment recommendations based on patient needs. One focus of the software is reducing time in the hospital by reading the patient records, detecting delays to discharging patients, and alerting the need to resolve them. ParaHealth developed the Rothman Index, which takes the comprehensive patient data and distills it into a single metric that indicates the patient's condition. It has proven to detect patient deterioration faster than any other method, highlighting the power of a well-designed KPI. InnoPlexus has a platform designed to speed up pharmaceutical development pipeline. It crawls millions of publications, articles, dissertations, clinical trials, and drug profiles into a research platform. This tool can then help pharmaceutical research companies find relevant information and make connections between research studies. So what are some of the challenges these companies face? The biggest hurdle is how medical data is spread across many sources, all with different governance, laws, and systems. Integrating these systems will be an immense technological challenge as well as a political challenge. 
For anyone who's worked with healthcare data, you know it's an industry that tends to be very traditional and slow to adopt new tech. Some of these companies are still running on data systems from the early 90s, and that doesn't account for small clinics that are still heavily paper-based. Additionally, there is no universal agreement on data types or naming. Each insurance company and medical provider has its own definition of terms and data requirements, which makes aggregation difficult. Even where EHRs are implemented, they may not be shared between insurance providers. So any change in insurance is a loss of medical history. There are also a number of regulations that any analytics company will need to comply with, such as HIPAA and protected health information in the US and GDPR in the EU. Ensuring compliance with these laws is essential and will take extra resources to do so effectively. Respecting an individual's privacy while also building large community datasets is one of the biggest questions in analytics. And the last challenge comes from the value and profitability of curating datasets and analytics. It can give a competitive advantage to medical providers, insurance and pharmaceutical companies to not share their data with each other, which will set back the advancements of predictive medicine. If you found this breakdown of analytics in an industry interesting, give this video a like and comment if you'd like to see more videos along these lines. Until then, check out this video for the basics on how these analytics projects take shape.